Hi everyone, I'm so excited about today's video. I went to our local Dollar General and Dollar Tree, walked through there and just picked up some items that I thought would have some potential, uh, brought them home and turned them into farmhouse style decorations. To me, it's definitely one of the most enjoyable things to do is to find a good bargain, which usually you get that at dollar stores, you know, take it home and then turn it into something beautiful and not having spent all that money and still have that look. So let's get right to it. I wanted to create a window look with these frames and I really wanted the four pane look but Dollar General only had two frames left over so I just ended up going with the two but next time I'd probably try to get four of them. I think it would look more like a window if there was you know four versus just the two. Guys, I am so not good at writing freehand. I almost did not put this clip in here, but I thought I want to show you guys for those of you that can easily, you know, write freehand and it turns out beautiful. So what happened here as I was writing the Lord's Prayer, my writing kept getting smaller. I debated, you know, erasing everything, starting over, but I thought I'll just keep it that way. You know, again, you guys can see. Uh, kind of how you know I go about to do it and I'm sure you could do a much better job
used to sell these scrolls on my Etsy shop and then I would use magnets to hold up the bottom roll. Um, I didn't have any on hand or I would have shown you guys but it's really easy just you know put a magnet inside of the roll and then one on the back and it just gives a nice clean look you don't see anything here you'll have the paper clip showing a little which is also okay but if you do have some strong magnets on hand that works really well too now the top roll I always just fasten with jute cord um, if you have enough of a roll on the top you really don't need to fasten it the actual string will hold it in place it is possible to apply you know decals to paper like this but it can be challenging since your transfer tape can easily tear your craft paper so you just need to be really careful when applying it um, and not pressing down too hard on just the transfer tape uh, just making sure you kind of press down on your lettering that way if you pull up your transfer tape you won't tear your paper if that makes sense Using some old barn wood here for my wood I just sanded it down didn't get a video of it but it was laying around here in our shop I thought this would make a great 
backdrop for these little holders. These decals will be added to a current listing that I have for large canister decals and I will make sure to link that down below in case you're looking for you know, these words in particular. I wasn't sure, I thought maybe next time I would almost go with white. I thought this black didn't quite show up the best, but then I wasn't sure, you know, would white really look okay or not, but for this project it'll work. I could not find any round foam balls at Dollar Tree. Um, I didn't look at Dollar General, but I imagine somewhere a dollar store would have, you know, the round shape. So I just cut my own. I used a hydrangea stick here for my stem, but you could use you know, any twig out of the woods that is straight. This little home decal will also be added to a current listing. I'll make sure to list it down below, but it is my sugar and tea listing. Sorry about the lighting here guys, you cannot even see what I'm painting, but I am painting that clear vase and I did find a paint color, um, it's usually not the brand I use, but it worked, um, that matched my plate that I want for my bird bath.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and are maybe inspired to, again, just not spend a lot of money and have a decoration that is worth displaying in your home. And as you could see, you know, they're all very simple ideas. Um, anyone can do them. Before ending the video, I just quickly wanted to show you guys this new pillow cover that I have on my Etsy shop. Um, a lot of you have asked already about, um, I had one of these displayed already on the front porch and maybe in here. Um, it's a vintage hair image on a pillow cover and I thought maybe some of you are interested in purchasing one. They're available on my Etsy shop, just a limited amount though, so make sure to go on over and check that out. As always, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!